Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we are gonna learn how we can create a bootable USB for Kali Linux. Well, what do you mean by a bootable USB? A bootable USB or live USB as some of you might call it, is simply a USB that supports a fully functional operating system which you can basically spawn during the boot time by configuring its BIOS system settings. Well, what is the advantage of a bootable USB? The greatest advantage of bootable USB is that you are practically carrying an operating system in your pendrive and you can convert any laptop or any PC to support that particular operating system. And in this video, we are going to learn how we can convert a simple USB into a bootable USB that supports Kali Linux. So let's go ahead and do that. By the way, I forgot to tell you that the bootable USB for Kali Linux will be of great essence for our Wi-Fi hacking as well as when we are going to perform Windows hacking which I'll be rolling out really soon. So if you are already following my Wi-Fi hacking playlist, make sure to also have a bootable USB for Kali Linux because our post connection attack will be dependent on that. And if you are willing to learn Windows hacking as well, well I request you to create a bootable USB for Kali Linux because it is of great essence. Alright, having said that, we are gonna move forward now. So the first thing that we need to do is to download the ISO image for Kali Linux. So let's go ahead to the official site of Kali. I'll give the link in the description below. You can go ahead and click on it. And after that, download the bootable USB image from the live boot section. Click on the architecture that you have. In my case, I'm 64 bit and download that ISO file. After that, you need to go to Rufus, which is a tool to create bootable USB very easily. I'll also give the link in the description below. You can just go ahead and click on it and download this particular tool. I have downloaded both of them and let me open Rufus first. And as you can see, this is the Rufus. Now go ahead and plug your pen drive. I say at least 8 GB pen drive is required because Kali will take 3 GB space. In my case, I have a 32 GB pen drive, which is SanDisk. I have connected it and it will automatically select that one up. Now you need to go ahead and select the ISO image file. Uh, it should be Discord ISO image and go ahead and select your ISO. In my case, I have the Kali Linux 2021.4 Live USB 1. Let me go ahead and open it. Now we need to select a partition size. I'll give it a partition size of say 7. I'll ask you to give at least 4 GB of partition size. And after that, that's it. You just need to go ahead and press start. Click on yes if this particular prompt comes. Click on OK. Alright, so now our USB has now become a bootable USB. Now the thing you need to note is that you cannot use this USB for storage purposes as it's solely made for bootable purposes only. Now what's left is to configure the boot options from the BIOS settings so that whenever we plug in our pen drive and power on our laptop or PC, it will automatically start booting up from the USB instead of its own native operating system which in our case is Windows. So for that first of all you need to power off our laptop and then get into the BIOS settings. Every device has their own way of getting into BIOS settings. You can basically Google how you can get into BIOS settings on your device. And afterwards, we will meet from there. Ha, ah, come on, don't be jealous of the camera quality. <laughs> Anyways, so we are in the BIOS settings of the HP laptop. The first thing you need to do is to navigate to the boot options by hitting on the right arrow key and then disable the secure boot. As you can see, navigate downwards and as you can see the secure boot is enabled. Hit enter and then disable the secure boot. Now we need to change the UEFI boot order in such a way that the USB flash drive comes above. So now navigate that USB flash drive above by pressing F6 and that will bring it up above. The reason we are doing is that because every time we plug in a pen drive and when we start it up, it will automatically start booting up from that USB. Now all that is left is to save exchanges and exit. So go ahead and save the changes and exit. And within seconds, it will ask you for the confirmation. You just need to enter the digit that is on the left hand side as you can see 5519 and hit enter to say that yes, I have made the changes on my own. And after that, Kali will boot up. Now I would recommend you to use live USB persistence because in that the file will remain saved after sessions. If you use just live USB, then it will be destroyed once you restart your Kali. 
and as you can see i now have a fully functional kali linux in my device so i hope now you know how you can make a bootable usb on your own thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video